Now, last but not least is the... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another episode of Keeping Up With Coco. If you are new to my channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and follow me on Instagram at Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin, and you know how to spell Coco. Remember, once I get to 50K, I am giving away some money and free access to my Patreon. And all you have to do is hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram, and turn on your post notification, and comment, you know, as much as you want. Um, on my videos. Today, as you can see from the title of the video, I am doing a collective haul. Um, I did this before in the past and I tend to do a lot of shopping. And I know I like incorporate some of my shoppings in my vlog and stuff like that. But I decided that, you know, it was time for me to do another huge collective haul. I will leave the last one that I did right here so that you can check it out. I'm exhausted. I literally just got into um, Boston yesterday from California. I went to see a Birkin Daddy. Um, that vlog will go up before this video, so I will leave that up there as well. Um, super fun. I had a blast, but... The travel back was like a mess <laughs> because these airlines don't care about you and what you're trying to do or if you need to get home and relax, they don't care. Um, so I'm super exhausted because I have to film this video because tomorrow I am going on vacation again. I literally landed today and tomorrow I'm leaving at 7 a.m. in the morning and half of the things in this uh, collective haul are going on vacation with me so I was like okay I have to film this video so it's literally 11 p.m. and I am sitting here filming this video knowing damn well I have to be up at 6 a.m. so you guys make sure you hit the subscribe button okay but I'm gonna take a sit and then we can get started because I really need to just unwind do this and get in my bed. Oh, I actually haven't even packed because like I said, half of the things are going on vacation with me. Let's get into this uh, haul because we have a lot. We're gonna first start with uh, dresses because why not? Um, and these dresses I've worn, you guys have seen in my like last two previous vlogs. So I will quickly show you guys these dresses because I actually went and got another one. Um, they're still on their hangers, but if you have watched my vlogs, you know that this dress from Maritia is absolutely stunning, okay? Absolutely stunning. I actually took a picture with this dress on my Instagram. I will leave it right here. But this dress is absolutely stunning. It's so flattering. The material is so durable. I don't know if you guys can see that. But originally I got the uh, black one first. I love the little neck um, area of the dress. Um, I'm putting, I'm leaving it on the hanger so that you guys can kind of get the idea of how the dress works. But so like, you know, your neck goes in here and your arms are here. But this dress is so sexy. What I said is dress is sexy, it's sexy. But the cool thing about it is it's also very elegant. Now you would think like a short dress that shows like, you know, all these arms will look like you're doing too much. Girl, this dress is super elegant and sexy all at the same time. I had to get this black dress when I saw it. And then I went back and I was like, okay, I wanted to get one to match my blue Birkin because I intended on going on a date. Um, you know, with TD, and I decided to just take a different bag, which I will be showing you guys in this uh, collective haul as well. But yeah, so I ended up getting these two dresses. They were $110 each um, from Aritzia. And so today I was doing uh, some shopping because I'm going, you know, on vacation. Now I don't plan on actually taking this dress on vacation with me, but I went back in because on my last vlog, I told you guys that I saw like this purplish, brownish version of the dress. Um, they do have like full blown brown like this, but when I saw this color, when I saw this color, I had to go back in and get it. So literally, I went back in today and I was walking by and I was like, yeah, no, I have to, 
I have to buy this. Um, but yeah, so literally just the same dress, like I said, $110. So I'm a zero zero in pretty much everything, um, extra small and extra, extra small. Um, I think this is a extra, extra small, yeah. So, but it's super like, you know, stretchy but very durable at the same time i don't know if you guys can see that but this dress is freaking stunning if you are um by aritia stop by and get this dress okay seriously and i will show you guys the tag there you go so that's what I got from Maritia. Um, next, we're going to move on to sacks. Now, these are stuff that I just got today and I do plan on taking on vacation with me. So the first dress that I got is this super cute, uh, it's Farm at Farm Mario, I believe is the designer of the dress. I will show you guys the tag, what it looks like. Um, but it's just this super colorful, funky, like flowery dress. Um, it's long sleeve and I mean, stunning, stunning. Okay. Um, this dress was a $235 in an extra small. Um, and I found the designer at Saks. Next, I got this really cute, because like I said, these are like vacation dresses. This super cute um, long dress. I mean, like, it is so cute. It is backless a little bit. So, obviously, like, this part buttons up. It's kind of hard to show you guys, like, the, the dress without having it on. So, if I happen to take a picture while I'm out on vacation, because this vlog will, um, not this vlog, this uh, collective haul will go up after my vacation. If I happen to take pictures while I'm on vacation, I will leave it here so that you guys can see. But this is what the back of the dress looks like. So it's kind of like backless, but it's super sexy because it gives you a little bit of cleavage on the top, a little cleavage in the back. I don't know if you guys can see, yeah. Cleavage in the back, and then it's just super long. But it's the colors, it's super like vacation beach vibes. I don't know if you guys can see that. The blue, the purple, definitely screams a vacation, islands by the beach, dinner by the water type of, you know, vibe. And then next we have another dress from Saks. Um, oh, I didn't tell you guys how much this dress was. Um, I will show the tag. Um, the dress was, oh, so this dress is a Zimmerman. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm a big, big Zimmerman fan. This dress was $695. That is the tag. And it is Zimmerman. Next, I got this really like, I mean, to die for um, dress. <laughs> so, so perfect for vacation. I mean, like I said, that's where I'm going. But also like if you're in California or Miami or something, this dress would be perfect for dinner by like the water with your boyfriend or your sugar daddy, whoever. But like the back of it is super sexy. Um, this obviously it goes, you know, this goes over the top but it's super like backless and then like on the side as well, you can see everything. But at the same time, it's very flowy in the bottom. So it's just absolutely stunning when you have it on. Like it's hard to tell when it's not on, but when it's on, baby, when the stress is on, stunning, okay? When I say stunning, I mean stunning. But yeah, so this dress was, $5.95, I got a size small. It is a Jonathan Simikai. I don't know how to say his name. All I know is the first name is Jonathan. But this is what the tag looks like. Um, and then I will show you guys the price. This is the price for anyone who is interested in going and purchasing. Distress, but absolutely stunning. 
absolutely stunning. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. And when I like threw it on, and I like went and asked the uh, sales associate what she thought about it. I mean, everybody in the store was like, and I was like, yeah, no, I have to get it. <laughs> I have to get it. So yeah, this is Alice and Olivier. And um, this is also, you know, a brand that I purchased before or a designer, but this is like the super cute, long, dress i'm sure you guys have seen like this this design um but the material is just so much like i don't know it's just sexy when i threw it on i was like oh yeah no this is definitely like walk by the beach i wouldn't say like it's a dinner outfit because it's kind of very revealing but like i could see like maybe lunch by the beach or something or uh you know just lunch during the day with your boyfriend, your significant other, your sugar daddy, whoever. Um, I wouldn't say much, like, I wouldn't say dinner. But it's just really stunning, I mean. All of these dresses, unfortunately, you have to see them on um, before you get the vision. But this dress was 295 at Solace. And it is Alice and Olivier. So. Yeah, that was the uh, dresses that I got from uh, Saks. <laughs> um, and all in all, my receipt, $1,586. Okay. I'm not proud. <laughs> Obviously, it was a sponsored shopping spree because I am going on vacation with somebody, so you know. So we're gonna move on. We did a review already. We're gonna move on to this uh, Joe Malone. Um, so this time around, I decided to try one of their perfumes. Um, and I haven't even opened this yet, so it's still super fresh. And it's packaging, really cute. Um, yeah, so it's just some perfume. Um, I got the uh, Cypress and Grapevine um, scent. This is what it looks like. And it smells really good. I tried a bunch of the scents and this was the only one that I really liked. Um, I'm not like a super fan of their stuff. Somebody said don't rub, so I always forget to do that. But it, I don't like when you spray like perfume on you and it's just sticky so i kind of like rub it off and i don't know um but i kind of liked this this was the only scent that i really really liked and this was the only one that i thought was also super potent because i like my like i like a strong smelling uh perfume yeah i got this just to add to my uh, perfume collection but that was literally all i got and honestly i only got this because when i went to Saks. Um, and I was doing some shopping. Oh, and I will show you guys the stuff that I got from Saks before I ended up buying this as well. Um, I got this Alexander Wang dress. It's dirty and it's in my uh, hamper right now. So I'm just gonna drop a picture right here. If you follow me on Instagram, you've seen it. Um, I bought that dress and I bought this shoes. So we're gonna move on to shoes because <laughs> we're talking about shoes. So um, I got the Alexander Wang dress um, and I got this Saint Laurent shoes. Um, and basically they were having like a thing where it's like you spend a certain amount of money, you get a gift card. So basically I had gotten to a certain amount of money and the uh, sales associate, my uh, shoe sales associate, um, asked me to go buy one more thing um, to make it even so I can get a gift card and uh, I did and so this was you know what I got but I will show you guys the shoes now I have worn these shoes because if you saw that picture with my Alexander Wang this was the shoes that I was wearing these YSL heels that are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous just plain black YSL heels as you can see it just says YSL in the front um, I've obviously worn this and you can tell that I really wear my shoes like what the hell is wrong with me like I've only worn this like for a week 
and that's already happening like i don't get it but these shoes are absolutely stunning these were like i want to say 1300 1200 i i can't remember um but i got them like two weeks ago so they're absolutely stunning um yeah and they're very comfortable i wore them actually in the airport last night because i took a red eye um and i was out at dinner with Birkin and daddy before he dropped me off um at the airport and so i had these on and i decided like you know what instead of trying to go through my suitcase and like find uh, my boots which i had um to put on i'm like i'm just gonna put these on and walk because they're very comfortable and i can like literally wear these all day and i think i was wearing these all day in california um but yeah so it's super comfortable and i think there's like work i think this is probably the most comfortable luxury pair of heels that i own um because i literally had no problems like wearing them the whole time when i was in california like I, my feet wasn't hurting like i wasn't complaining like we went dancing and everything not a complaint in the world um i guess i should have went by brand huh because i still have some more shoes to show you anyways um now we're gonna actually go by brand so we're gonna do oh no we're not gonna go by brand i think we're doing shoes but i'll show you some other shoes later but we're gonna move on to jewelry and we're gonna move to cartier because i don't know if you guys have noticed on my finger all right so i don't know if you guys noticed this ignore my hands okay don't come for my hands but I had this ring on my finger so originally I had this one but now I have this ring on my finger which is basically the same thing as this finger but it has a um, it's a bigger size ring and it has three diamonds on it so that's one and then we have two and then we have three this is the box that the ring was in and we have obviously a receipt i'll just tell you guys how much he paid he paid four thousand two hundred and eleven dollars this is the uh, authenticity And yeah, and then they gave me a cleaning uh, kit for my ring. And I guess I can also use this for my uh, bracelets as well. So yeah, so that's what Breaking Daddy got me while I was in California. Um, now we're gonna do these Chanel earrings that I got a while ago, like two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Um, but I wanted to do, you know, an unboxing for you guys. So, um, this is the box. Take it out. Open it. Now, I already have Chanel earrings. You guys know that. I have, like, three pairs that I never wear, but I'm always adding some more. Um, but I really just wanted the smaller, smaller studs. So, I went and got these um a super stunning just smaller daintier studs than the ones that i already have because the ones that i have are a little bit more on the you know like dressier side like you know you're trying to make a statement and i was looking for something more every day and i thought huh these are cute for every day so this is what they look like i don't know but you guys tell me don't you think these are so stunning up next we're going to move to some more jewelry and this is from van cleef and arpel bca if you would like to you know say it shorter but obviously we have our pamphlets and our booklets and stuff like that i'm not going to go through all that then we have our travel pouch they gave me the long version one because they ran out of like the regular smaller ones that I had for my um, other um, necklace. But travel pouch, um, some more booklets, 
and I'm pretty sure in here you have like you know your certificate and then you can read about like the product and how to take care of the product and stuff like that all in this template and then you have my receipt. Now I did unbox this on my Instagram because I wanted to do like a TikTok or a reel. The bigger version of the vintage Alhambra pendant. Um, I have the smaller one in like this red. I don't know the specific color that they call it, but I got this, um, this is called Yellow Gold Mother of Pearl, and it is absolutely stunning. Got this color because I thought it would go with everything. Um, as you guys know, I'm kind of like a boring girl. Like I don't do too much color. So I thought this was absolutely stunning to go with like my everyday life, like just running errands or going out to eat or dressing it up, dressing it down. I just thought this was really cute. This was 2,500 and with tax, it was like 27. Um, also, I ordered myself the uh, bracelet, the matching bracelet as well uh, for this, but I had to leave it so that it can be sized so once i get it i will show you guys that but i will most likely show you guys that in my vlog so that's what i got from bank leaf um up next we're going to now move to the exciting stuff first we're gonna talk about this bag that I got. <laughs> now, if you have been watching my vlogs, you know I got a new Hermes bag, um, and I wanna, you know, incorporate it in this um, collective haul because I'm sure there's some people that, you know, haven't seen my vlog, but, you know, are going to watch this video. So, I got this pre-love, Hermes Kelly bag from Fashion File. Now she has debuted all over Boston and all over California already. So don't mind her. She's gonna go back in her box and rest for a little bit. But I got this super duper cute box Kelly um, Cellier. I believe that's how you say it. Um, in black and gold hardware. And I say this is so like stunning and so me. It's so classy. It is absolutely amazing. Okay, and this is pre-loved. This is pre-loved. You would never know <laughs> that this is pre-loved. Um, but yeah, I love this bag. Absolutely stunning. Um, obviously, you guys have seen it on my Instagram. If you have, you know, been following me for the last two weeks, you know. I've already taken pictures in these bags and I would drop a couple of pictures right here. <laughs> but absolutely stunning, so I wanted to show you guys that. Um, not my battery dying. Okay, we're gonna quickly move to the rest of the stuff. Um, also, from Hermes, I got a pillow. <laughs> so I got myself a throw pillow for my living room. Um, I actually ordered two of them, but they only had one available, so I'm waiting for the other one to come in. Um, but I got this super cute um, Hermes throw pillow. It's just a typical Hermes throw pillow you see uh, in you know people's homes. So I got one for my home because I think it's about time for me to start treating my home the same way I treat you know myself and my clothes and everything so I'm gonna start buying more you know luxury pieces for my home that I can you know keep for years and years and still like actually feel you know good about it so I got this super cute Hermes pillow and I believe these are like 980 bucks um, I believe that's what I paid for so yeah and I'm just gonna throw it behind me <laughs> For now, and you know, we'll see. Um, and then, at the same time, I got some Tweelies. I forgot to show you guys the one that I was already using that I got at the same time as well. It's a little dirty, but I got this one. I had it on my Kelly. It's super cute, um, super abstract. Like um, I showed you guys in my vlog, 
but this one was for my, um, you know, Kelly, just to add a little bit of pop of color. Um, I took it off because, you know, not every outfit, like, do I need to have this pop of color with? Like, if I'm wearing, like, orange or something, I don't want to have, like, I don't know. It has a lot of colors on it, but long story short, it was for this bag. Um, and then I got this orange um, twilly with, like, the animals on top. And like, just a super cute. Um, I thought this would look really nice on my orange Birkin. Um, I actually haven't placed her on there yet. But once I do, um, you know, I'm sure you guys will see it in a vlog or something. But yeah, so I got this. These Twilies are really not that expensive. I think they're like $260 each. But isn't this so pretty? I love the animals on it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I don't know. I just thought it was super cute. Then there's one more for my blue Birkin. So obviously this one will have a little bit of blue on it. So this is what she looks like. Now she is gorgeous, but also very subtle, not as like right and like out there like this one and uh, the one on my Kelly. Um, but for like the blue, I didn't want to do anything like too extravagant. I just thought like a subtle um, twilly will just add a little bit of something to it. And I thought, oh, this is super cute. And um, you know, it does have blue on it as well, so. Yeah, so that was that. Next thing we are going to unbox is this mini Hermes box. Um, I'm sure you guys can guess that these are sandals. Um, and because I'm going on vacation, it's only right. Um, I have the white ones, um, but I just got, and the white ones that I got were like a seasonal style that I think. Um, I don't know if you guys remember, but from my Hermes haul, go check that haul, I will leave it right there. When I first did my first ever like Birkin preview. Um, yeah, so these though are just the regular plain Oran sandals in a brown. Um, and obviously, you know, I'm going to, on vacation tomorrow. So I got these. They're absolutely stunning. I mean, they're just plain sandals. Like, they're cute. <laughs> they're brown. Um, but, you know, nothing really special about them. Super cute. I think these are like 600, 700 bucks. Um, honestly, guys, I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't look at price tags when I go shopping. <laughs> okay. Like I'll ask them like, oh, how much is it? And then they'll tell me and it's like, okay, if the number sounds right, I just go, okay, I'll take it. Um, and then if I kind of have my mindset on buying something, I'm gonna buy it either way, it doesn't matter the price. So I'm sorry that I don't know the exact price of these. Um, I'm sure you guys can Google it and find it, but yeah, I just got these really cute brown sandals. And I figured these will come in handy, not only for my trip um, tomorrow, but also for like in the summertime. And brown will go with pretty much all of my Birkins. It'll go with my Kelly, it'll go with my orange, um, and it'll go with my blue, depending on what I wanna wear. Um, I am going to get the blue and the orange actually to match my uh, bags. Um, but I needed this for this trip specifically, so that's why I got them. And this is what they look like, and obviously Hermes in the back. And I am a size 38 and a half, which is a eight and a half um, in US size. So yeah, and it comes with two dust bags that say Hermes on them. Now, last but not least is the big box <laughs> um, I, I'm gonna quickly unbox this so that you guys can see so that you know my battery is gonna die again so I'm gonna close this vlog but we're gonna unbox her um, if you guessed a Birkin no you know <laughs> you guys know I just kind of started my um, 
you know, shopping list and wish list with my sales associates. So pretty sure they're not offering me a Birkin or Kelly that fast. But I did get, ta -da -da -da. oh, you know, I wanted to unbox this on my Instagram, but whatever, comes with a receipt. Mm -hmm. and inside, we have an Avalon blanket. <laughs> Um, and my sales associate found this for me because you literally can't find this anywhere right now um, So she made it a point to find it for me and the pillow as well because the pillow came for somebody else But she ended up just giving it to me because I was like, ah, can I have it? But I got this Avalon a throw a blanket and it is absolutely stunning. It is absolutely gorgeous I told you guys I am investing into more luxury stuff for my home um, and I just thought this was so cute. Like, just so cute. And it's actually so like thick. I think this was like all in all 1800 bucks. But yeah, so I'm not gonna take her out of the box because I do wanna like unbox her <laughs> and decorate her on my um, couch on like a reel or a, uh, you know, <sighs> TikTok. But yeah, so she is absolutely stunning. I'll take her out a little bit, but not fully. She's absolutely stunning. So this is what she looks like. That's the age. Mm -hmm. Now I did see some girl on a YouTube buy like the fake version. So I guess they do have those, but baby, if you know me, I'm not into dupes, so. I prefer to just spend the money on the real thing than get duped. But they do have dupes for the girls that don't want to spend $1,800 on a blanket. Um, but I figured I'm going to keep this blanket forever. It's not going to be like the blankets that I throw out or any of that stuff. Like, we're going to keep her forever. Um, but yeah, that is really all I got from, you know my collective haul that I wanted to show you guys. I probably missed a few things, but they were probably not important, and I was like, I probably showed you guys in the vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, make sure to you subscribe for more videos like this. Follow me on Instagram, Birkin Coco. You know how to spell Birkin, and you know how to spell Coco. And be sure to hit that uh, link down below for my Patreon. The ladies that want to learn how to find them a sugar daddy. So yeah, I hope you guys like this video, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.